Software 9 has several different stitch types for your designs. There are two basic types of stitches, either fill or outline. Fills can only be used for objects that are enclosed, while outlines can be used for objects that are open or enclosed. First, let's look at editing the stitch type of a design that is included with the software. If you want to change just the filled heart, deselect, hold the Alt key, and then click on the heart. You can tell a design is grouped by the symbol in the upper left corner of color film. By holding the Alt key down, you can select just the heart and the design is still grouped, but you can edit the selected heart. The current type of stitch is shown with a blue highlight around it. So this is a step fill. When you rest your cursor on the icon, it will show you what kind of stitch it is. Notice that both the fill and the outline stitches are active. In other words, they're highlighted in the stitch toolbar. You can change a filled object into an outline, but you will not always be able to change an outlined object into a fill stitch because the object must be enclosed to do this. After selecting the heart, you can change the fill to any one of the available fills by clicking on that icon at the bottom of the screen. This method always applies the default type of that particular fill. If you wish to select something other than the default fill, the change can be made through object properties. You will have different editing possibilities depending on the type of stitch. Some of the changes would not be good choices because of the shape or the size of the object. We will look at the different types of stitches in this series of videos, as well as the appropriate type of objects for each of the different stitch types. You can also change the stitch type within object properties by clicking on the drop down arrow next to fill type and choosing a different type of fill. Select the type of fill and then click apply to keep the dialog box open or click OK to close the dialog box and make the change. If you select an outlined object, only the outline stitches are highlighted at the lower part of the screen. By clicking on the icons in the outline toolbar, the outline is changed to the default type of that particular stitch. To have more options available other than the default open object properties. You want to make sure that if you're going to change all the outlines, all the outlines are selected. Since this was the only object selected, only that outline changed. An easy way to select all the outlines is to hold down the Alt key and click on the outlines in color film. That way, when you select your new stitch type, that stitch will be applied to all of the selected outlines. 